Hello everyone, welcome to my channel lecture notes. So today I'll be explaining a poem, The Indian Dancers, which is written by Sarojini Naidu. So in this particular poem, Sarojini Naidu tells how the Indian dancers are dancing and they are adorned with the natural beauty bestowed by the God as well as they are decorated with the jewels, the flowers and everything which enhances their beauty and they are dancing and the people are looking glaring at them and enjoying dance so starting from the lines eyes ravished with rapture celestial panting what passionate bosoms a flaming with fire eyes ravished here means very expressive eyes which have power to enchant anyone so they are basically dancing in an attractive attractive way which can enchant anyone celestial means heavenly beyond earthly things uh, and panting means breathing heavily so they are breathing heavily and uh, uh, their beauty is heavenly beyond earth beyond human uh, thing so their beauty is out of the world and very much unique with passionate bosoms aflaming their fire uh, aflaming with fire that that dancing so much uh, graciously and they have been dancing for a long period of time therefore they are panting that they are breathing heavily because of the dancing steps drink deep of the hush of the high high inch heavens that glimmer around them in fountains of light hyanage is a type of a plant which is known for its fragrance indicating that every sense of their body appeared to be entrapping the audience and they appeared to be heavenly and god sent on earth so within the three to four lines sarojini naidu has made it clear that the indian dancers appeared to be something heavenly some appear to be not as if they are earthly or they are such a beautiful creation of god that they are not able to believe that they are the dancers are humans themselves glimmer around them in fountain of light that is the spotlight that uh, as soon as they move from one place to other it appears that the god has sent the spotlight on them fountain of light that they uh, that their appearance was so much mesmerizing that it appeared that the god has bestowed them with heavenly light around them o oh, wild and enchanting the strain of keen music that cleaved the stars like a veil of desire so in the last line through the help of imagery sarojini naidu has amplified the beauty of dancer like the stars in the sky appears in the night and make the sky more beautiful similarly the presence of women dancing on music has made the music more enchanting so their presence is something that is equivalent to the bright shiny star which enhances the sky's beauty similarly the music appears to be more attractive more soothing because of the dancer's steps and moves in the first paragraph uh, sarojini naidu tells few de de details about the dancers that they uh, are heavenly creatures they don't seem to be a human like thing they appear to be the god sent which uh, don't appear to be earthly things in the next paragraph and beautiful dancers with hori like faces bewitch the voluptuous watches of night hori is one of the most beautiful maiden of Mus uh, muslim culture that their beauty is so much that it should be appreciated by the world that they are the heavenly creatures and it should their beauty should not be limited to an age or a period or an area or a distance their beauty is so much that it should be appreciated throughout the world and throughout the ages bewitch the voluptuous uh, watches that sensual men who are watching them dance is bewitched by their beauty has sarojini naidu through the eyes of men and descriptive imagery shows that how woman is only seen as a beautiful object and doesn't have a voice so in throughout the poem you will notice that the indian dancers have been objectified and only seen as their body parts or their moves they are not given a voice and neither uh, nobody wants to know about who they are basically they only see them as a dancers basically as an object 
the scents of red roses and sandalwood flutter and die in the maze of the gem tangled hair so long with natural beauty the dancers are adorned with flowers and their fragrances like of roses and sandalwood even their hair and every body part is prepared and presented in such a way to attract people inherent meaning that women are born and raised to please men so everything they are doing whether it is uh, adorning themselves with flowers or jewelry they are only or whether they are uh, the dance or the moves it is only to attract men so the meaning inherent meaning here is the women are born and raised only to please men and they are doing everything to attract and please and provide them an a soothing experience and smile at entwining like magical serpents the poppies of lips that are opiate sweet her uh with the help of metaphor and vivid imagery the dancer smiles is compared to magical serpent and lips like sweet poppies which can lead any person to different world and give them utmost pleasure also serpent actions are controlled similarly dancer steps and actions are controlled so in the last two lines she sarojini naidu is trying to tell that how uh, through the help of figure of speech that is metaphor she is telling that their lips are like serpents and serpents are usually controlled by the snake charmer or the person who has it so similarly the dancers moves are also controlled by the owner of them or owner of the place so clearly they don't have a control of their actions or of their life their click string garments of purple are burning like tremendous dawns in the quivering air her purple was seen as a royal color therefore it was expensive and burning the tremendous dawns refer to the audience passion which has started rising or burning secondly can also be related to dancers rushing blood because they are tired and now their face is red because of it and tremendous dawns dawns here refers to the morning so uh, the audience is so much enchanted that they do not realize that they have sat till the dawn the morning time that is around 5 6 from night to dawn they are sitting and they didn't they are so much enchanted that they didn't realize how much time they have spent and inquisitive subtle and slow are the tinkle and thread of their rhythmical slumber soft uh, rhythmical slumber soft feet so quivering hair means moving slightly the audience is also moving slightly and their passion is also stirring after seeing their dances so in the first paragraph it was uh, panting sounds now they are quivering air which shows that the dancers are tired with the time but still they are performing dances still they are doing their best again poet has compared the movement of the twinkling of stars that the dancer moves are so effortless and subtle as if they are born to do this only like stars are made to twinkle only again highlighting that how women are made for the purpose to please men so again the twinkle and the thread shows again they are compared to the stars that stars are only made to twinkle similarly these dancers are only there to attract the men and soothe their pain now silent now singing and swaying and singing like bosoms that bend to the breeze or showers little bosoms that they do bend because of breeze blossoms basically little blossoms that is are the little flowers they do bend because of breeze and storms similarly the dancing girls can also be forcefully be mended according to the needs of audience demands like little flowers do change their path or do sway because of the wind similarly they are also forced or mended according to the needs of the audience and whatever the audience demands so they didn't they don't have their say of their own they are forced to do what the audience wants now want wantingly winding they flash now they flutter and lingering languish in a radiant joy wantingly is deliberate and playful way to arouse people and they flash highlight their body parts by their dancing steps
flatter hair means now they have lost confidence and moving slow but still a radiant effect upon the people who are watching so in the first line of this paragraph it shows that uh, they are still dancing though they are tired but still they are doing their effortless dance and still they are doing their best to attract audience towards the dance they jewel good arms and warm wearing lily long fingers enchanting through melodious hours so jewel hair jewel good arms and lily long fingers lily long fingers and jewel good arms are a metaphor the figure of speech hair used by sarojini naidu is metaphor which show how the girls are naturally beautiful as well as adorned with jewels flower beautiful clothes which make them more enchanting and melody uh, melodious hours hair uh, in this uh, the figure of speech used is transferred epithet where the adjective is normally used with a noun but here the adjective is used with the hours like also that is the has been used to describe the audience forgets the time they stayed as they are so much entrapped by the beauty like in the last paragraph it it is also mentioned that they sat till dawn similarly uh, they are so much entrapped in their dance that they forget the time and the hours turned out to be melodious another example of transferred epithet is um hair is melodious hours eyes ravished with rapture celestial panting what passionate bosoms a flaming with fire so ravished with rapture here means that their happiness appears to be something forced upon them they are not happy with the life option they have chosen so in every pra- every paragraph or every three to after every three to four lines sarojini naidu has shown that how the girls are tired but still performing the dance which shows that this is something forced upon them that they are not willingly doing it and how uh, the onlookers or the audience are only objectifying them they are only enchanted or entrapped towards their outer beauty and no one uh, makes an effort towards knowing who they are actually they are only seeing them as an object So thank you for watching this video do like and subscribe our channel